So today we're going to talk about a really, really common uh, piece of equipment for the uh, more commonly the starting compound archer, but also some of the recurve hunting bows as well. And that is your pin sight. So this here is a True Glow uh, Carbon Hybrid 5 pin. They also come in a 3 pin and less common, but they're also available in a 4 pin as well. So when you get a sight, you've got to remember it's not like kind of the basic sighting in on a rifle where you can kind of get a ballpark of where it's going to hit. When you're shooting a bow, when you first put your sight on, there's so many variables that can determine where your first arrow is going to hit, whether it's arrow weight, uh, whether it's your draw length, your peep height, any pressure in the bow, the actual sight holes. There might be, you know, some of the PSEs have six or eight different sight mounting holes on the bow. Um, so you can have two or three different positions to mount it on as well. So you have to set these and calibrate it depending on what you're shooting. So when these come out of the box, they'll all be kind of clumped together like that in the middle. Now, going over the basics of moving your sight, we do cover that in another video. We talk about what to do when you get your first compound, but essentially it's the opposite of sighting in a rifle. So if your arrows are going high, move your sight up. If they're going low, move it down. If they're going left, move it left. If they're going right, move it right. Always move your sight towards where your arrows are hitting. So when they come like this, everything's kind of set roughly in the middle. The first thing you want to do is shift these pins over. So in, a, in theory, is a good starting point. Down the middle of your grip, down the middle of your arrow rest, down the middle of your pins, down the middle of the bow, everything should be in a straight line. So if you chuck an arrow in your bow, you'll have your center of your grip, center of your rest, the arrow, your pins, down the top of your bow, all in a straight line. That'll get you left to right very, very, very close, assuming your rest is set up properly as a starting point. If you're talking the bow or you've got facial pressure, you'll get a little bit of variation there. But as an initial setup, down the middle is a really good place to go for left to right. Now, you'll notice on this particular housing, these pins here are right in the middle and there's this little gap here where my finger is that's kind of empty. You've got five pins on here. So in theory, you could have 20, 30, 40, 50 and 60 meters on your side, depending how far you want to shoot. Obviously, when you're starting off, you're not gonna be shooting as far as that, but it's nice to have that option down the track as well. So what you wanna do with this housing is essentially take your first pin and move that all the way up, just using these little Allen keys along the side here, right up to the very, very top of that housing. And then to adjust your first pin, move your housing, so this little circle here, up and down, rather than moving the Allen key on the pin. That means when you've got that one set, that top pin is right up in here and you've got all this room to get your other pins as well. Otherwise, if you start with it in the middle like it is when they come out of factory, you're essentially losing half the adjustment below that. So this gives you the ability to shoot those extra distances and get out to 60, 70 meters if your bow and the housing will allow that as well. It's always worth spending the money to get something with basic micro adjust. I um, mean, a lot of your cheaper sites will just come with a macro adjust where you put an allen key in and slide the whole thing up and down. That's fine, but you'll find as your level progresses, which it does fairly quickly, you're gonna be pretty quickly limited by that sight and it's gonna frustrate you where you're trying to move your sight up, you know, that much on the target and you bump it and move it up that much. So I'd always encourage you to spend the extra 50, 60 bucks on going to a micro adjust site. Uh, something like the True Glow is a really good option as well. So for this one here, if we were going to adjust uh, individual pins, I'm going to move those Allen keys in here to shift that right up to the top. And then I've got a little toolless knob here and on the side, so this part here and this part here, to do my horizontal and my vertical adjustments. So if I was to move my housing, I just undo this knob here and then spin this little dial up or down. And they're very, very fine adjustments when I turn that, um, that dial. Same thing on the horizontal side as well. Just loosen this knob, turn that left or right, and I can adjust my housing. So again, it's something you don't have to worry about essentially when you're getting your absolute first compound bow, because realistically you want to be practicing at 10, 20, even probably 30 meters maximum, just to save, save your arrows essentially when you're starting out. But down the track, when you are trying to get to those extra distances, and it's something we hear at the shop quite a bit as well, where people say they're running out of room, it's just to bring that top pin right up to the very top of your housing, and then you'll have all that extra distance below it, especially if you're moving into something with a really big housing, like a two inch HHA or a larger spot hog or something like that. Or if you're looking at a seven pin site and you're trying to get out to you know, 80 meters, 
that's where using using this housing to its full potential can be um, really, really beneficial. And it's a fairly fairly easy thing to do when you're getting the site set up as well. Um, the True Glow site is available at elizaarchery.com.